obviously I've got X, V, and C enabled. So I'll just minimize this. <clears throat> hmm. I haven't tried using Yast. Today's goal is to show how... Um, hmm. I N X E negative F all the things. Okay, so I am on a 64-bit older version of OpenSUSE. OpenSUSE 13.2. Ah, why are you not on 42? Why are you not on Libra? Ah, because I'm too lazy. It's a functioning machine, and I see no point in possibly breaking it by upgrading. But beside that, uh, I am going to, on this machine, see if I can get the Lexmark's, Lexmark Forms Printer enabled through cups and able to print. And then I'll remove the driver in cups and see if I can install it via uh, Yast. Something I actually haven't done. I never mess with the Yast print module because, well, everyone I've talked to recommends using uh, cups. So, I'm in KDE. Woo! KDE for the best, second best KDE in my opinion. So, unlike XFCE, there's cups right there. I don't have to go into some silly settings. And as you can see here, this is also an older version of Cups from another video that I did. I believe Tumbleweed and Leap are on 2.1.3. So, yes, I have some outdated stuff. I think I've got it. I do have it connected. Uh, might be wise, Patrick, to, uh, check. LP info, negative V. <laughs> uh, there it is. So, I don't need to do the LP info, because I... No, this is probably going to work. Okay, I'm going to click Add Printer. Log in. Ignore that, because I don't care. There's the Lexmark printer. It's showing up on the 64-bit machine. So I'm going to click that, click Continue. I get to this. Lab. Uh, I'm not going to share the printer. I click Continue. And this is the page that doesn't show up on a 32-bit machine. This is where you can actually go and choose from a list of printer drivers or choose an actual PPD or uh, printer description file. Basically a print driver, like a DLL for Windows, for the printer that you're going to be using. Now, what I'm going to do here, because this particular printer does not exist in this list. There is no open driver for this printer that I know of. And from what Lexmark has told me, there isn't one, nor will there ever be one. Even though maybe some of these funky ones probably would work. So, it's a dot matrix printer. It's based off of an old IBM printer. 
So, I'll go to generic, continue, and I'm going to choose generic IBM uh, dot matrix printer, which it's telling me that is recommended. I'll just leave it at that. Okay, so now I need to figure out what document I can open up. I guess I'm going to make a new document. Woo! And I'll just copy and paste my NXE into the document. Ah, don't get off screen. So that's on that. I think it might be wise if I go and make sure. Okay, it's on courier. So it might be wise for me to quickly go and change this to the same font as the printer and delicately move this up. Hmm. Bugger. Rat's nest. Damn. Let's see if I can make it to change the font pitch. Here we go. Huh. Oh, that's why. That's not going to work. I'm having paper issues right now. So, how far up does this need to go?
jam. Damn it. Stupid track stuff. There we go. So now that I got that the printer relatively correctly set, let's try printing this. There it is. Print. Okay, nothing's happening. Ah, there we go. So the printer is in fact working, if you can't hear it. Then I am very, very sorry. So it does work with the generic IBM Pro driver on a 64-bit machine. But if I were to go and install the official Lexmark thing with all of the necessary hoops and stuff that I'm supposed to go through, including some that are not listed in the install instructions. It doesn't work on 64-bit or 32-bit. But, at least it works through cups and on this 64-bit machine. So at least I'm not having a total waste of time. That is it for now. Thank you uh, for whoever is watching this. I greatly appreciate it. Um, and that is about it. I am out for now.